Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Hey Kegnistas, it's Marisha. We are in Valentine's Day mode, which is going to end soon because my birthday is right around the corner. Hashtag Aquarian season. We are going to focus on strawberries. And it's funny how strawberries became the unofficial fruit of Valentine's Day when they're not even in season. So everybody's just eating really sour, unripe strawberries. But hey, dip them in chocolate, call it a good time. Today, we are going to make strawberry roses. We are going to use a technique, a technique. <laughs> That's new. We are going to use a technique that you probably weren't expecting. I actually haven't done this technique since I was in culinary school. This is not fondant, this is not gum paste, this is actual deliciousness. Like you can eat the whole thing and not be like grossed out. I'm gonna show you guys how to make these strawberry chocolate coated rose. Rose strawberry. Strawberry flavored strawberry roses. Yes? Yeah, that, yeah it has to be. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, press on the notification bell, and let's get started. Strawberry flavored chocolate covered strawberry roses. Why could not do that earlier? Okay, cake nistas. I'm going to start off by picking my strawberries. I'm looking for strawberries with fresh, vibrant looking leaves, and I'm also looking for slender, kind of small to medium sized strawberries. Carefully take off the leaves I want to make sure that they remain whole because we are going to use them later on and remember to soak your strawberries for at least an hour in vinegar water that's my preference and then let them fully dry if you're questioning the vinegar no you can't taste it in the strawberry it just helps to get that dirt out of the berry initially I was just looking for some type of pink candy mouth pale pink I do have a, a deep hot pink but that's a little bit much. Nobody's trying to be that hot. I went to Walmart. They had these strawberry flavored candy melts in the perfect shade. It's like they knew I was coming. I melted my candy melts in the microwave for one minute and 30 seconds and I stirred after every 30 seconds. These were actually really tasty. I was, I was very surprised at how good these candy melts were. It's almost like strawberry milk. If you've had like Nestle's strawberry milk, it tastes like that. So it was really good. Once my strawberries are ready, I'm going to put them on a skewer. I actually did this one by one because I didn't feel like skewing each one just to throw those skewers away. I just used one. And I'm just going to dip my strawberries in my candy melt. I didn't go the extra mile to thin out the candy melt because I needed to stay the consistency that it is. The candy melts have this really good strawberry ice cream smell. Which if you're like, well, what is that? It's really like an artificial strawberry, but it's a, it's a good smelling artificial strawberry. I've been smelling that artificial since I was little and it just is very nostalgic. After dipping my strawberries, I am allowing some of that excess to drizzle off and then scraping some back into the cup. Those are going to set aside on a silicone mat. And we're going to move on to our modeling chocolate. Yes, we are turning the rest of this candy melt into modeling chocolate. It is the same process that you would use with actual chocolate. You're just adding some corn syrup and you're going to give it a good mix. You will notice that it will start to thicken up almost immediately. I'm going to leave the proper measurements down below for your corn starch to chocolate ratio or chocolate coating. This is actually candy coating, so don't let anybody fool you. This is not real chocolate. Once your modeling chocolate begins to stiffen up, begin to kind of knead it in your hands. And as you knead it, you will feel it turn into a clay or even a fondant-like consistency. And it does harden as it sits out, so make sure to put it in a container or a plastic bag or something. Now, this is like Cake Decorating 101. One of the first things that you learn to do is how to make roses. So to make a rose, I'm going to form small balls of that modeling chocolate and then flatten them into little circles. The smallest petal that you'll form with your fingers will be for the center. You just wrap it around the very top of the strawberry. The next set of petals will be slightly larger than that but still pretty small. You're going to do three of those and you want each petal to slightly overlap. 
modeling chocolate, modeling candy melt, whatever it is, it really responds to heat. So I'm using my body heat from my fingers to really kind of glue it to the strawberry. And I'm also using my heat to form it onto the petal before it. Does that make any sense? I hope it makes sense. Now it is a lot easier to do this without gloves. When we were in school, we did not use gloves for this and it was 10 times easier to do. Unless I guess your gloves are super well fitting and they don't crease up or anything like that, then it would be okay. Now I wouldn't recommend not using gloves if you're doing this for someone else. If you have like a business and you're doing this for the public, then definitely use gloves and just take it on the chin, girlfriend. Now, if you're anything like me, the first rose that you do, unless you do this all the time, will not be the best rose. They will get better as you continue to do them. Now, typically when making a rose, you do three layers of petals. It's usually one, three, five, and that makes the perfect rose. In this case, because we are starting from the top of the strawberry to the bottom, we are going to be adding a few more petals. I'm doing one petal in the center and then surrounding that center petal with two or three petals that are about the same size. After that, do three medium sized petals. You can even do four, but three looked really, really good. And then finally, Finish the rose with five larger petals. And those will be the petals that are further down the base of the strawberry. Make sure to smooth the modeling chocolate into the chocolate that is already on the strawberry to give it a seamless finish. I did notice that my modeling chocolate was a little bit too stiff. So I added a couple tablespoons more of that corn syrup and it was the perfect consistency. So if you notice that your consistency is a little bit off, knead in some more corn syrup about a, I say syrup. <laughs> knead in some more corn syrup about a tablespoon at a time until it feels nice and soft and easy to use. To create a hyper realistic rose, make sure to flare out some of your petals. Have some of them doing a more dramatic flare out, some that are doing a more subtle flare out. That's what really makes them look like they are blooming. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, then you might remember that I did cake pop roses. However, it was with buttercream, which was really difficult because you'd have to like kind of keep them separate. <laughs> but it was still really pretty and it was a nice way to practice your buttercream roses. And it was very, very cute. So I will leave that video in the description down below. I also had my mom try that out and that was pretty funny. <laughs> And now if you are an OC to the channel, an original Cakenista, then you might remember, I believe I made tulip cake pops out of gum paste. And that was my first year here on the channel. You guys, at the time, no one could say anything. You couldn't tell me anything. But now you absolutely can because those looked a little scary at this point. I'm not even quite sure if that video is still here on the channel because I did have to redo my channel. But if anyone is interested in seeing it, maybe I could repost it. I don't know why you would be interested because it's really, it's really not great. But you know, to complete my roses, I'm going to reapply the leaves with some melted candy melt. Now, of course, the mass of the strawberry has almost doubled in size. So one set of leaves would be a little bit too small. They kind of just disappear. So I am adding two sets of those strawberry leaves to the base of each strawberry. <laughs> These are absolutely gorgeous. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. They actually make my heart melt. I could just smell it. Imagine seeing these and just smelling fresh strawberry. <sighs> it doesn't get any better. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Couture in a chocolate covered strawberry rose. Bye guys. I gave a couple of these to my aunt for her birthday and I do like a little assortment. So I gave her a strawberry little assortment cupcake container. And then I had to leave a couple behind to try myself cause I had to try this candy coating for what it is. It actually tastes really good. These would be great on a cake. We're gonna have some more Valentine's Day videos coming up. I was even thinking of doing some crafts. If it's not on this channel, it'll be on my other channel, Marisha Couture. The cake me still comment of the day is going to go to different guy I know that's right on my the Grinch cake reel 
He says, well done, new sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, Cake Nistas.